want to take a second to talk to you about underdogs. I know Lane and Chris just talked about this, but I don't think that it's been beat home enough. Howie Roseman, a few years ago, was relinquished of all control pretty much in this organization. He was put in the side, hey, hey, he was put in the side of the building where I didn't see him for over a year. Two years ago, when they made a decision, he came out of there a different man. He came out of there with a purpose and a drive to make this possible. And I saw a different Howie Roseman, an underdog, Doug Peterson. When Doug Peterson was hired, he was rated as the worst coaching hire by a lot of freaking analysts out there in the media. This past offseason, some clown named Mike Lombardi told him that he was the least qualified head coach in the NFL. You saw a driven Doug Peterson, a man who went for it on fourth and down, went for it on fourth and down in the Super Bowl with the trick play. He wasn't playing, playing just to go mediocre. He's playing for a Super Bowl. And it don't stop with him. It does not stop with him. Jason Peters was told he was too old. Didn't have it anymore. Before he got hurt, he was the best freaking tackle in the NFL. Yeah. Big B was told he didn't have it. Stephen Wisniewski ain't good enough. Jason Kelsey's too small. Lay Johnson can't lay off the juice. Brandon Brooks has anxiety. Carson Wentz didn't go to a Division One school. Nick Foles don't got it. Roy Clement's too slow. The airplane ain't got it anymore. Jay and John can't stay healthy. Corey Smith can't catch. Nelson Aguilar can't catch. Zach Gers can't block. Brett Zellick's too old. Brandon Graham was drafted too high. Vinny Curry ain't got it. Mo Allen can't fit the scheme. Michael Cummings can't fit the scheme. Nigel Brandon can't catch. Jayla Mills can't cover. Patrick Robinson can't cover. It's the whole team. This entire organization was a bunch of driven men to accomplish something. We were a bunch of underdogs. And you know what underdogs is? It's a hungry dog. And Jeff Stalin has had this in our building for five years. It's a quote in the old line room that has stood on the wall for the last five years. Hungry dogs run faster. And that's this team. Bottom line is we wanted it more. All the players, all the coaches, the front office, Jeffrey Lurie, everybody wanted it more. And that's why we're up here today, and that's why we're the first team in Eagles history to hold that freaking trophy. And you know who the biggest underdog is? It's y'all, Philadelphia. For 52 years, y'all have been waiting for this. You want to talk about underdog? You want to talk about a hungry dog? For 52 years, you've been starved in this championship. You know what's up. You know what's up. Everybody wonders why we're so mean. Everybody wonders why the Philadelphia Eagles are, aren't the nicest fans. If I don't eat breakfast, I'm fucking pissed off. this team. No analysts like this team to win the Super Bowl and nobody likes our fans. And you know what? I've just heard one of the best chants this past day and it's one of my favorite and it's new and I hope you all learn it because I'm about to drop it right now. You know what I got to say to all those people that doubted us, to all those people that counted us out and to everybody who said that we couldn't get it done? What my man Jay and Jai just said, fuck you!
a lot of emotion on this football team and in this city.